Let's see how Maven is used with the testing framework such as TestNG to execute or to trigger test cases which are using UI automation like Selenium. First of all, we need to have an understanding on the build life cycles of Maven. So Maven has basically three build life cycles, default, clean and site. Most of the QA assets would have been using clean and would have been using default. So each life cycle is made of different stages and uh, for our purpose, we need to understand the default life cycle and within default life cycle we need to talk about the test phase so over here these are all the different stages for the default life cycle and we are interested in the test phase everything in maven runs using plugin so the test phase is also mapped to a plugin and one such plugin is showfire showfire plugin is used for the, during the test phase of the build life cycle to execute unit test of an application and in our case we want to use this uh, showfire plugin along with the test ng framework there is a documentation link to understand how things work and over here in the documentation we can see how to configure test ng so over here it shows like how to add a dependency then it also shows how to add that show fire plugin and give the path of the test ng.xml within it so we can see that we need to have a plugin tag and within it we need to configure the path of the test ng.xml file and this is how we do it along with this we also need selenium library now let's see the setup in action so this is the pom.xml file of the project and this is where we are adding the dependencies first of all we are adding the dependency for selenium java then we are adding the dependency for test ng and then we are adding the plugin show fire plugin and this is how we add that under the build tag and this is the path of the test ng.xml file this is where the test ng.xml file resides now let's see the different life cycles and the stages within it so over here we can see these different stages mentioned here so this is the comprehensive list of uh, the different important stages of the default life cycle plus the clean life cycle and plus the site life cycle and the, all the other remaining ones are from the default life cycle. Now, uh, for our purpose, we are interested in this test phase. So to run it, we just need to select the test phase and just click on this. Look at the logs of the execution here, which the Maven will generate. So these are all the different stages which comes before the test stage and those are getting executed. So it got completed. Then this is how you can configure the test ng test cases to be executed using Maven. Thank you so much for your time to watch podcast. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Keep learning, keep growing.